Hi, I'm Nikki, and if you guys don't know me, I used to have long, beautiful blue hair, but that's no more because on February 18th, 2020, I decided to change my hair. I wanted some change in my life, and I wasn't educated to know that it was the first Mercury in retrograde of 2020. And if you guys are confused as to what that is, basically, you can't make any major purchases, negotiate or sign contracts, make life-changing decisions, or do any of that stuff during Mercury in retrograde because it's most likely going to be a mistake. And there's like guidelines to live cautiously, basically live under the radar, and that's not exactly what I did. This is what I did last week in LA. I could end up going in that salon and chickening out and being like, I couldn't do it. Every single person has said they liked it, but I cried at the hair salon. Having a breakdown. So now I have orange hair, and I'm not sure if I like it, and I don't know how to dress with it, and I'm very confused. So please watch this vlog while you can see myself trying to talk myself into liking a color and attempting to build a new wardrobe because honestly, I don't know what goes with this hair color. I'm so fucking dramatic. I look like shit because I've been crying about a lot of things going on right now in my life. And honestly, I feel like... Whenever someone's going through major changes in their life, dyeing their hair is something you typically result to when like you just feel like you need to go with the change. For being as into astrology as I am, I was not aware that it was Mercury in retrograde. And what's really ironic is that I feel like a lot of people really love this hair, but I don't think I do. Ugh, I don't know. I'm keeping it because I already did it, so like might as well have fun with it which is like the point of this vlog. I always said like growing up, it'd be so cool if I could have a certain hair color for a day and then like change it. And if I had a certain hair color for a day, this is what I would do. So I feel like I'm treating this next week and the week after that, however long I keep this, I'm trying to make the best of it. Like it is a cute color and it's fading really cute, but I just don't feel like myself. Maybe the blue is really my thing or maybe like there's another color, but I'm not gonna know unless I keep living and trying things. So I want you guys to watch this video knowing what you know from future Nikki. You can tell I'm just trying. I wasn't gonna upload this video. I did spend a lot of coin and a lot of money on stuff. Hopefully with whatever hair color I end up keeping, whether it's this color or blue again, or hopefully all this stuff does go with my next hair. I just figured now that you guys know the context, maybe it'll be funny and relatable because I feel like we've all had that hair color or haircut where like it didn't go how we wanted or it doesn't look how we thought it would. And like, we're like totally trying to convince ourselves, but like, we don't know if we like it. Um, yeah, so just enjoy this video. I'm figuring out my life. In the meantime, I'm gonna be doing some like cool recreating stuff with this hair. Try to have fun with it and then we might go back to blue. Enjoy. So we are on our way to go thrift shopping in LA. Honestly, I have not gone shopping period with this hair color. So I don't know. Yeah, this hair, I, I was on the fence about it. I think I'm slowly seeing how like creatively inspired I'm getting because it's a new color. I can try new outfits. I can do new thumbnail ideas. I can it's photo shoots. Like I'm just getting drive back and I'm excited to reconnect guys. We're back in this and I got new hair. So that got deep. Let's go thrifting. <laughs> All right. So Alex, she's like shook that I didn't freak out over her hair, even though she sent me a picture of her in the chair. This is the thumbnail. <laughs> Thrifting for my new orange hair. Wait, it doesn't look bad though. Navy looks cool. Does this look cute with yellow or with orange? Ow. Brave Babe Club? Yes. Yeah. I love this top like painting. Yeah. Look, Wait, spots. come here. Come here. That's cute. That's really oh, cute. Guess. That's so you. I that know. is you. Sports. You know. It's like sporty but girly. So, so far I have pink. I have a white t-shirt with a yellow heart and then I have a black crew neck sweatshirt. Me? Yeah. I feel like, no, I look like a Cheeto. So update, I was thrifting and then I got a text that um, the studio is open right now and I really, 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 really wanted to take pictures in here with my new hair because I am out here in LA working on my music. So um, yeah, and this kind of a vibe, it's like purpley in here, which is like really complimentary to this new hair. I did go thrifting, these are all the things I bought and I feel like I get to just have like a fun little photo shoot in one of the things I bought. 
still trying to figure it out. Pink weirdly goes really well with orange. I, mean, I might wear this. Um, and then I have these sweats. Only you guys are gonna know that I posed for these photos, which is like kind of cringy, but like, why not? I love that you just reached out knowing I wanted photos. You're like, oh, I'm free. I told you I had, a, I had an hour quick free. Let's do this. I think the light one may be better for photos. Hey guys, so it is another day in LA. Um, I'm shopping. I happen to be over in West Hollywood today. So I figured while I'm over here, I wanna shop in the stores in West Hollywood. And I've never gone into the Pretty Little Thing store. I've only ever shopped online from them. So I'm so excited to shop here right now. So this store is definitely a girlier vibe, but they have a lot with like orange and peach and I feel like that looks really good with my hair. I should wear this out tonight. This is cute. So we have Mary and Zena. We all are fresh faced. We are going out tonight in West Hollywood. I bought a bunch of new clothes to go with this hair and I'm gonna get ready. Done. We got pizzas. You know, you gotta eat before you drink. Mm. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing to go out. I'm wearing this blue bodysuit with my furry fake fur bomber jacket, but I'm probably gonna end up wearing it like this. I got my Fendi bag. I've been really into like Fendi handbags from the real real. I have these pants that I got from Pretty Little Thing today. You need a good oversized jean, you know. Guys, this is the hair salon that turns my hair neon orange. The lights you guys have uh -huh. on my hair makes me look like <laughs> So I am leaving the hair salon and I love my hair. We're gonna wait out rush hour and go shopping some more for more outfits to go with my hair. So we wanna like go to like vintage stores and maybe dolls kill. Yeah, this video is just me rebuilding my wardrobe pretty much. I gotta find some t-shirts, everyday wear. That's what I'm in the search for. I have neon pockets. I gotta find some t-shirts, everyday wear. This fringed white jean, and then these red mom jeans that go down to orange. So we just finished at Wasteland. No, I look like Little Mermaid oh, returning. No, okay. <laughs> but right now, we are going back to this gelato place. We stopped in to get water after my hair appointment, and it's called Gelato Festival. But I lost my debit card, and that's not cool because anyone can go spend happy. Like, that debit cards actually have money on them. Like, it's not like a credit card, so. On the search for my debit card. <laughs> this is the gelato place I went in that matched my outfit and hair. Good morning, guys. So we are actually in a new Airbnb. I extended my trip because I got invited to a movie premiere tonight. I don't go to movie premieres. I never go to movie premieres, but um, I'm going to a, I'm going to a movie premiere. It just kind of happened. I just got this really cute, cozy, small Airbnb. You walk in, and it's just oh hey Samuel and Zena. Oh hey. Hey. This is the um, main room. It has a couch. I slept here last night. I love sleeping on couches. I'm really fucking weird. And um, it, this is the kitchen. And then in here is the bedroom. And then back here is the backyard. Honestly, I'm realizing I hate apartment complexes and I love feeling like I'm home. And this kind of feels like Pennsylvania. I have to get ready for this premiere. I'm not used to having like literally this color on my head. Today's just a whole new thing and we're gonna play around so I wanted to vlog it. Wait, I wanna see this. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm still adjusting to this damn color. Hey guys, so 
I'm finished with my hair and makeup and honestly this is so different for me. I'm very nervous, excited. I don't know, this could be like a huge hit or a huge miss, but we're good, we're rolling with it. I am on my way to the premiere. I never do premieres, cause like I always had the logic of like, why would I go if I'm not in the movie? And I used to low key, like kind of cringe at like when I would see that happen. Um, but I actually saw like the trailer for this movie and I honestly like really wanted to see it. Plus I have this hair and all my photos that are out there from a red carpet, they all have blue hair. So I'm making a big effort to like familiarize everybody with this new hair color. So I'm just gonna do everything I can like photo wise or like project wise so I can like do stuff with this hair cause I'm like really inspired right now. Oh my god, who am I? So I do want to be honest and let you guys know that I did go to my colorist in Pennsylvania and I told her my concerns about my hair and she basically put some toners on it to mute out the saturated neon orange and now it looks a little too natural for my liking because I'm used to having unique colored hair. I don't know, I just feel like I'm having some issues with it but I was feeling myself much more with this toned down hair versus the neon in the beginning of this vlog. Now I feel like I'm really Kim Possible, <laughs> um, but watch my haul and let me know if you guys like anything I bought. And if I end up changing my hair, I hope the things I bought still go with my hair because the things I bought are pretty cute and I can't wait to show you guys. I did a lot of shopping in LA. I've been talking about changing my hair for so long. I fucking did it and I'm proud of myself for doing it. So you guys saw the vlog footage. I'm gonna go per store. So at the first thrift store, I bought these sweatpants. I like these because they're navy blue and then they have like the pops of color at the bottom. And then I feel like I need just like a plain black jacket. Oh, I love this vibe, fuck. I also found these pretty little thing pants at the thrift store. They honestly look like Kim Possible pants. $13.50. And pretty little thing can get pretty pricey, so. The next few things are like gonna shock you. Yes, you guys saw correct. This is a pink bodysuit. It's just super cute. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. This is actually super different and I like this. And I just got back from the Bahamas from filming our reality show and I honestly felt like this went really, really, really well with my hair. The last thing I got at this thrift store is this t-shirt and honestly, I thought it was very fitting because I think changing your hair is a brave thing, especially if you don't like change. The second place I went to, as you guys saw in the vlog, was the Pretty Little Thing showroom. I actually walked by the Pretty Little Thing store and I thought it was a store, but it wasn't a store, it was a showroom. And I was told you needed an appointment to get in and then some of the girls at the place knew who I was. So luckily I was able to get in and they gifted me things which I was shook. So huge thank you to Pretty Little Thing. I got this matching sweatsuit and it's honestly, because I have blue hair, I never would buy a blue on blue sweat outfit. So I find it interesting that now I have a blue on blue outfit. <laughs> then they also gifted me these green sweatpants. Honestly, I feel like the Little Mermaid a little bit. I got these like 90s jeans. They're like high-waisted, but they're super baggy towards the bottom. The lady at the showroom actually recommended this to me and said it would go good with my hair. And then I got this peachy, poofy sleeved off the shoulder top. This is so not me. But this is really cute together, so I feel like we're breaking some boundaries with this hair. And then I got a Pretty Little Thing t-shirt. I can't believe I got a lot of pinks. And then the last place I hit up was that thrift store. And it's called Wasteland, if you guys don't know. In LA, like a lot of famous people drop off their clothes there. And last time I was there in December, I saw um, the girl from Riverdale, the redhead. And I ran into like Kylie Jenner's photographer. And like a lot of people, like with a lot of money, drop off really nice clothes there. The first thing I want to show you guys is, what's my best find? This Miley hoodie. It's her Marc Jacobs collab. I'm really glad I got this. The next thing I got are these jeans. I love the cut of them and I love that they're skinny. And I also love that the fun is in the back. 
that way it's not too overwhelming with this hair I got a little skinny crochet top because I feel like there's something about this hair that really makes me feel beachy even though it's red I don't know so I got that <laughs> I got this frayed denim jacket honestly this is one of my favorite things I've ever purchased and it's from a thrift store then I have this denim jacket and it's cropped again and there's just like different colors Ooh, i love this the last thing i got at that thrift store is this oversized denim and white jacket oh this is so cute i think white makes this hair pop more than anything i love this hair but I also just feel so damn connected to that damn blue. Let's take bets. How long do you guys think I'm gonna keep this hair? Do you think this is gonna actually like really grow on me and like I'm gonna keep this for three years like I did the blue? Or do you think I'm gonna go back blue? What do you guys think? I really wanna get back to like mixing in vlogs with my content. I feel like I've been really good at making quality concept videos where I like prank people or I'm sneaky online, but I feel like I like taking a step back and just being personal and just showing you guys what the fuck I bought and just showing you guys changes in my life. So I'm gonna continue to try to do that for you guys. But I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.